Cool, so hey, it's Mona, just Mona, sadly, but um, yeah, I wanted to make a video about Soccer Akon because we haven't uploaded vlogs for it at all. Because when we got home, we were going to edit videos and then for some reason, all of our videos that we took, not only for Soccer Akon, but Soccer Akon and Chibi Chibi Con and um, Emerald City Comic Con, all of our audio was gone. So we have a bunch of just muted videos of us being dorks and we all look super fun and we're having a lot of fun but there's no audio so we can't really do anything with that unfortunately. So Soccer Con was overall a really really good experience though. Like uh, I got to see a lot of friends that I don't normally get to see which is always good because it's one of the bigger Northwest conventions so everyone from everywhere comes to it. Another cool thing was that Yaya Han was there, and a lot of people, there's a lot of controversy around Yaya Han. I personally love her, I look up to her, she's a huge inspiration for me. Um, and I got to meet her, and she complimented my Moana cosplay, and it made my life like 10 times better, because who doesn't want like a famous cosplayer to tell you that your work is good? Overall, Sakura Khan was really, really good. However, there was still a lot of issues with it that I noticed from my perspective as a convention goer. One of the biggest issues for me was that it just seemed very disorganized. The convention itself has had a pretty bad history of posting the actual schedule pretty late, right before, the, like leading right up to the convention, but it hasn't been this bad before. This one was very, very cutting it close. Also, it was left with lots of questions for me. There was only um, a few Yuri on Ice panels, which, I mean, Yuri on Ice, it's a very popular show right now. It's one of the most popular animes, I would say, right now, like, just for this time setting. But there was only, like, two or three panels that I saw, and they were all 18+, plus, which is kind of unfortunate, considering that Yuri on Ice has such a huge demographic of people that enjoy it. So that made me feel kind of... I felt bad for younger cosplayers who were going to see content for things that they loved and see other cosplayers perform and all they got was an 18 plus panel. That being said, I also understand that there could have just not been very many good panels submitted for your own eyes, and that's totally fair. Along with that, there wasn't very many Voltron panels either. And as you know, here at No Idea Inc, we're super into Voltron, and I don't want that to make that, I don't want that to make this a biased opinion. But if you look at any cosplayers right now, a lot of them are cosplaying Voltron because it's so popular and so good. So it was kind of disappointing to see that there was basically no Voltron panels in the schedule, especially since, again, us at No Idea Inc, we love Voltron and we had submitted one. Uh, panel, but even our friends who we know who also submitted a Voltron panel, they didn't get it either. There was no fan-led Voltron panels that I had seen, in the schedule at least. I had heard about a one, I had heard about one variously through the con, but I could never pick up if it was a photo shoot or photo shoot or a panel or what. It was all just really crazy. Which is another thing with the scheduling being a little bit jumbled was that there was, if you looked in the, if you looked in the guidebook, there was photo shoots for the same thing set up in different locations at the same time, or there was photo shoots set up in restricted areas of the convention center at a specific time, and none of the photo shoots were made very clear, which was rather unfortunate for cosplayers wanting to go get pictures of their costumes or just people who wanted to go see things for something that they like. It was all just very jumbled and confusing in my point of view. So overall, it was a really, really good convention and 100% for sure, we are not gonna stop going anytime soon. Soccer Con is a hometown convention for us. It was one of my first big conventions ever. So it's one that I plan on continuing going to. This is just a few things that I wanted to like speak out on and talk about it just because it's better to have my words placed and my thoughts placed in one place place rather than just not mentioning it anywhere. Um, overall though, Soccer Con, a really good time. Thanks for watching. We're gonna have more content soon, I promise. 
I promise. Thank you all for your support. Later.